hello there and welcome back to my channel or if this is the first video of mine you are seeing then welcome i have a really small sephora haul here that i just wanted to quickly get on here and mention i do have the new patrick ta foundation that i feel like is very polarizing a lot of people feel one way or the other about that foundation i usually try not to watch too many reviews because i don't want my opinion to be swayed on a product but because that foundation was quite pricey i did watch a couple of reviews but all in all, I decided to purchase it because everybody's different and, you know, because what this person might like or dislike might not necessarily be what you like or dislike. So I want to try it out for myself and I have used it one time on camera. We'll talk about that in a little bit. So I'm just going to quickly show you some of the products I picked up and then we'll get on into the application. I have timestamps for you below in case you want to skip around. Okay, so I'm going to first start with like what I would do first. Now, I do already have my eyeshadow and mascara done because I don't have anything new for either of those. So... I'm just wearing my Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. The shades I'm wearing are the shades Fair and Mesh. I mix the two of them together and then just kind of put that all over my lid. And then I took a mixture of the shade Sheen and Mia and then just tap that into the center. And then I'm wearing the Tower 28 mascara. I am trying to hit pan on this shade right here. I don't know if you can see that significant dip in this shade, but... I am trying so hard to hit pan on that, so I'm trying to use this palette every single day right now until I do so. I would usually start out with like prep steps, of course, and for one of the first things that I picked up, now this was actually like a little points perk. I've never tried this before. It's the Danessa Myricks Yummy Skin Blurring Balm Powder. Now this one is just in the Universal, so it doesn't have any shade. It's this little cute little mini. I have not used this on the face yet. However, I'm sure everybody's seen this by now. This has been out for quite a while, but I've never tried it. I used a little bit of it as eyeshadow primer because it says you can use it on your eyes and your face. So I took a little small of it and amount of it and used it on this eye for eyeshadow primer and then over here I used my Milani. I want to see how it wears by the end of the day because I think that would be pretty neat if I could use this as eyeshadow primer. I'm not going to use it on my face today because I'm not going to wear any primer with this Patrick Ta foundation but I just thought that was kind of interesting that it's also for your eyes. I will say that that side looks more hydrated than this side like the powders can look a little bit more drier over here and this side looks a little bit more moisturized I don't know if that's the right word for it but that's kind of the way I feel like it is it just looks a little bit more not so dry over here and by the way if my face keeps turning pink it's really hot in this room and I'm wearing a sweater shouldn't really be doing that right now but I have the air on then next would be like lip treatment for me and Tower 28 released this cute little set I guess this is kind of like one of their holiday sets it's their little softies lip softy tinted lip treatment set and they gave you it comes in this little packaging like this and then you get four shades and one shade, which is the Sugar Plum shade, is a limited edition shade that is just for the set. Now, I have full sizes of the other three and these are some of my absolute most favorite lip treatments. I think they are so good. And what's so cute about this is when you open it, they come on this little stand. And I thought that was just the cutest little thing. Now, I'm not going to apply this to my lips right now simply because I'm still drinking my coffee. I am a little bit later this morning and usually I already have my coffee finished by now, but I don't want to apply this and then, you know, sip coffee because I'm going to get it just all over the mug. So I'm going to swatch the Sugar Plum shade for you so you can see what that looks like. And then I'm just going to blend it out a little bit. Not too much because I want you to still see the pigment. But it's basically, when it goes on the lips, there's not really a lot of color to this one. But the, really all of them, there's not a lot of color to each and every single one of them. I just think they are just so nice. They smell amazing. Each one of them has their own little unique scent to them. And they're food grade scent. So they smell very authentic. Now, I'm assuming this one is also food grade. Now, I've never eaten a sugar plum. I don't know what they smell like. So... I can't sit here and say if it smells like that, but it does smell nice. I'll swatch the th other three shades for you, but I'm not going to open these. I'm going to swatch the full sizes that I have. And here is a full size next to the little minis. But believe me, you only need the teeniest amount of these 
So you really, I don't think you really be flying through this as quickly as, I mean, I don't know, maybe I shouldn't say that, but I know with this, just the tiniest amount is enough to cover your entire lips. So I don't really see me flying through these little minis, especially when I do have the full sizes right now, but it just depends. But if you've never tried these, I think this is an amazing little set. It's $20 for the four. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch the other three shades that are in the set. We have Dolce de Leche, which is my personal favorite. This smells like caramel and it is just so, so pretty. Now this one has a very, very slight tint to it. I'm not going to completely rub it in because I want you to be able to see the shade. I just love the soft tint that this one gives you too. Then we have watermelon kiwi, which definitely smells like watermelon candy, basically. Now that one definitely does go pretty much basically to a clear. It just has the slightest pinky tint to it, but nothing extreme. And then the last one is Ube Vanilla. This one smells really good too. They all smell good. I think it really just kind of comes down to the scent you like, because really once you kind of you know, rub them into your lips. They're basically like, you know, there's not a ton of color payoff. Now that one has a little bit more of a tint to it, but these are the other three shades that are in the set. But maybe later in the makeup application, I can apply a little bit of that on my lips. It's just, I'm still sipping my coffee, so I feel like there's no need, but it's basically, it doesn't give much of a tint but they are very hydrating on the lips. They just, they feel amazing. They're some of my favorite lip treatments. Okay, the next thing I did pick up is the Patrick Ta Major Skin Hydra Lux Luminous Skin Perfecting Foundation. I picked up the shade 4 Golden. I mean, this packaging is gorgeous. And then it comes with a pump, which I'm sure most of you probably have seen some reviews on this by now. Now, I've heard, you know, some people really like it and some people think it's too greasy. I have worn it one time so far. This will be my second time applying it, but I'll get more into that when I'm applying this today. But I just want to get through this haul first, which I don't have much. And a lot of this stuff that I'm mentioning were points rewards. Kind of like the Danessa Myrex product was a points reward. And I have one more thing here that I'm going to mention that was a points reward. Okay, and then I also picked up one of the new Cali Ray blushes. This one is their, what's this? Their Blurry Blush Airy Soft Focus Cream Blush, and I have the shade Zen, This, which is such a pretty color. I believe this was the lightest color. Now, I will say one thing. I don't know why I always get stuck with products that have horrible stoppers, because look how much it globs onto the one and it shouldn't because the very first time I opened this, it didn't do that. But now every time I go to place it back in, some of the excess will get around the inside and I don't like that. That's the only thing that I have to complain about. But other than that, it's a beautiful shade. And this is the shade right here. Of course, that's going to be a shade that I personally go for. It's those types of shades I tend to gravitate towards the most. So it's a really pretty shade. I have used this as well one time. So We'll get more into that when I get to the application uh, portion. And the last thing that I picked up that was like a free kind of thing, like a free sample, is the this little sample card from House Labs. This is their Triclone Skin Tech Concealer. Now, I still have one of them sitting here. That This was the shade Fair Neutral. So I've used that one time, too. I know it's kind of hard to really... I mean, you know, with these little samples, this is the shade Fair Neutral. This is the shade that I've been using. I... I don't know, it's kind of hard to really tell whether or not you like something by these little teeny samples, but I thought why not give it a shot. But that's pretty much everything that I got in the little haul. It was very small, mostly because this was like nearly a $60 foundation. I think this is $58, so you might as well say $60. So. But I'm not going to be wearing any primer or anything. I'm going to zoom you in and we're going to get started on this foundation application. Okay, now that I have you zoomed in, let's try this foundation first. It I'm going to give it a good shake because they tell you you should do that. This has a lot of skincare, I believe, in it. Now, I will say, the first time I used it, I had no issues with it. I know a lot of people were saying it's too oily. It, it fades throughout the day. It doesn't stay on my face. But now, I will say one thing. I used one pump and then a sponge. So, I'm uh, not a lot was going on my face. So, I do want to point that out. I used a very small amount of this. I'm not using a huge amount to build this up because that's not what I personally like. So just keep that in mind. If this is a foundation you're interested in, definitely watch reviews, especially from creators that apply their makeup 
in a similar way to you because I'm not applying this in a full coverage way. I know a lot of creators go in with brushes or you know with two or three pumps and I'm not knocking that at all. I just meant that the more you use the more there probably is a chance for this to cause issues. But that's what it looks like. You can see it's very serum-y. And then what I did was I just spread it out on the back of my hand. You can see it's a very small amount. Very small amount. And then I just went in like that right there. And I'm not going in with a lot. Very small, small amount. And I had no issues. Now, I will say for the sake of today, I am going to build it up another pump. But the first day, I had no issues with it whatsoever. And I didn't wear a primer that day either. I'm not wearing a primer today. I'm going to let it do on its own. I'll come in in just a second, of course. I'm going to show you one layer, and then I am going to I am going to build this up so you can see it a little bit more on my skin. But this, what I'm doing right here, was all I did the first time I applied it. Oh, my little mirror here is turned down. This is all I did, and this to me is more than enough. I don't really want to go in with another pump, but I do want to show it, you know, built up. I will say that I watch a lot of creators who are more like Project Panner type people, so they're not really buying a lot of new makeup. But out of the few that I do watch that do buy a lot of makeup and do reviews, I believe one of them liked it and then the other one just felt kind of like meh like you know she could take it or leave it so but I do know that there are apparently some creators who are giving this a very bad review so I, I don't know out of the ones I follow it was one was a yes and the one was kind of like a eh. now for me I liked it I didn't think there was anything wrong with it I didn't struggle with it but now I was also wearing such a small amount like you see here and you can see it is glow, but now I also am wearing a sunscreen underneath that does have glow to it. Right, let me make sure I didn't miss anything up close to this mirror, and then I'll come in so you can see a first layer, and then we're going to go over it with a second layer. But this is where I would personally stop. But I'm going to go in with another pump for you. Let me make sure everything's all pressed out, but I think it looks really beautiful on the skin personally to me it at least with this amount now I might apply a second amount like a second pump of this and feel like oh that's too much but right now with what I'm seeing I love the way this looks now let me zoom you in and I'm gonna get as close as I can to the camera what you see it just to me it looks like skin I know I have acne okay I do have acne it's not gonna cover that But that was one pump, so let's go in with a second pump. And I know that Patrick Ta himself uses a sponge. I did see a lot of creators using brushes. I don't really use brushes anymore to apply foundation. I like a sponge because I like a little bit less coverage. So we're going to go in with a second, second little pump of this. I'm going to do the same thing. Spread it on the back of my hand. i get the excess off of my finger here. And let's build this up and let's see. But you know what? It will soon be the end of September. This foundation is definitely going to go into my everyday makeup drawer for the month of October. So I will definitely be getting more and more thoughts on it because I do also want to wear it with primers. Like try it out with different primers and stuff too. Now for the sake of the video, I'm not wearing a primer and I did not spray my sponge. Normally I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury spray and spray my brush before I go in to apply. I did not do that today. I still don't believe though that if you have very oily skin, you probably won't like this. I mean, I am, it, it, is, it is glowy, as you can see. Now I do have that glowy sunscreen, like I said, but it, it is a glowy foundation. It has, you know, skincare in it and stuff too, so it is going to have much more of a shine to it. Okay, let me make sure all this is pressed in and get closer to this mirror right like here. And then I'll get closer to the camera so you can see, hopefully, as much as 
I can show you that it looks like in real life, but I will say, even with the second layer, it is not looking cakey. It is blending in really beautifully. It built up nicely. I'm not seeing anything strange. I'm trying to show you everywhere that I can. I know that I don't have like top quality camera. Like, I know I don't have a top quality camera, okay, so I'm hoping you can see. You know, as much as possible for you to kind of see what it looks like on my skin, but I think it looks really nice. I'm not seeing it do anything weird. To me, it still looks like skin. Like my skin, just very shiny. And even though it's a foundation, it kind of reminds me of like a really glowy tinted moisturizer, at least the way I wear it. But now I know you could probably go in with more of a brush and you might can really heff up the coverage if you want. But for me, the one pump was all I needed. And that's the way I would wear it going forward. But I did want to wear two pumps so you can see how it looks. And I think it looks fine for now. I, you know, we'll see. But now I will be wearing this foundation. I'm filming this on Monday. This video will be going up on Friday. I will be wearing it every day. I will put in a pinned comment below or in the description, probably a pinned comment though, about how it's wearing. So now I'm just going to take this House Labs concealer. This one is in Fair Neutral. I'm just going to take that on my Flawless Concealer Brush and I'm just going to, I guess, dip into the little thing here. I wore this the other day, and honestly, I wasn't that impressed by it, but I don't know. I know it's really hard to kind of tell by a little sample, and maybe it was just me. Kind of rubbed off some of the product on the brush, and I'm just going to go in. Really, I don't know. It just looked kind of heavy. But now, I understand that me trying to get it from that little pack, I probably picked up too much like I did just then. I should have taken just a small amount on the handle of the brush and tried it then. I don't know, it just looked very heavy, but I believe it's full coverage. Well, I'm not sure if it says on that little card, but I don't know. I think a lot of people like this concealer and the foundation, but I've never tried either of them. I did try this little sample of this, and I know you can't judge something based on a sample like that. Okay, flexible full coverage. Yeah, that's probably not going to be something that I care for that much, simply because I don't like full coverage stuff. I'm just gonna press over that with my sponge. I just noticed last time it looked kind of drying. But I mean, I can't judge it that much from a sample card. It does seem like when I first applied it, it looks pretty nice, but I noticed that it just didn't wear that great on me. Okay, I just went ahead and did my bronzer and my brows off camera. I'm just using my Rare Beauty bronzer stick, and then for brows, I'm using my NYX brow pen and my Kosas Air Brow Gel. All of that will be listed and linked for you below. So let's go in with this Cali Ray blush. Now I applied this the other day and I did really like it. I felt like it lasted all day long. I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand. And then of course I'm going in with my favorite Refi brush. This brush just is my favorite way to apply blush. And then let's just press that on. This blush I noticed, at least this shade, when you do it like this, it, it's kind of more easily manageable. I feel like I didn't go in too heavy handed. It gives me time to really work it into the cheek without going overboard. You can see how beautiful and delicate that is. I love shades like this so very much. And it's not interfering, or it didn't the other day interfere with my foundation or anything underneath. I will come in a little bit closer in just a second and show you how everything is laying over the top of the foundation. And then I will check myself too in my up close mirror. But right now, I love how that looks. It's just so soft and delicate. We're going to leave it like that. I'm not going to go in with any more. I love a delicate flush. But these blushes from them, or at least this shade, it's very pretty. It's very nice. The only thing I just don't like is how it globs out like that. Like, I don't know what happened to the stopper or... Because the first time I opened it, it didn't do that. It come out fairly clean, but now it just globs on there. I don't know why I always get stuck with products that do that. But the actual blush itself is beautiful. Really beautiful and long-lasting, so... 
Okay, I guess that's what really counts the most is how the blush applies, but I just want to mention anything that I can that I notice because, I mean, you know, while these aren't the most expensive blushes on the market, they're still $22, and I know they make liquid blushes at the drugstore that are less than 10 so, you know, I do want to mention anything that I notice, but it is a beautiful shade. It's such a delicate flush, which is what I love. I love this type of makeup, like what you're seeing me wearing today. This is my favorite type of makeup. It's just a beautiful shade. It reminds me of my Milani, my powder blush from Milani that I talk about so much. This kind of reminds me of that shade just in liquid form. So I would love to layer them. I'm not going to today because I just wanted you to see this blush by itself, but and look at that pretty glow that this foundation is giving me. Like, I don't feel like it's too much. Now, I have already set my forehead because I wanted to go ahead and do my brows. And I like to press a little bit of powder into my brows so they're not so shiny. But, I mean, I don't personally think this is that bad. For me, for what I'm looking for. Now, I understand that if you're really oily, you probably wouldn't want that. See, for me... Now, yes, you can tell it's still a little tacky. But now, that won't interfere with me. I never wear my hair down. Now, if you do... It's probably going to get stuck, but I don't ever wear my hair down. I, my hair is always up. I don't like to wear it down. But I am going to, of course, set it so you can just see that. But personally, I don't really feel like I want to do that. And here you can see the blush over the top. like, And then the bronzer, they're laying over it fine. Very just, I don't see anything, anything weird at all. It's not picking it up. It looks really beautiful. So I'm going to be using my Tarte powder. This is the creaseless setting powder in the shade Lavender. I don't see too many creases here. Not as much as it could be. And then I'm going to show you one side. Let me go ahead and set with the powder. I'm not applying too much of the powder either, so you can see just that little bit took down that shine. Of course, I can't go in too much with this powder because I find that if I do, it can leave a slight purpley cast on me, and I don't want that. But the powder itself is amazing. Like The powder really is good. All right, and final touch, I am going to be applying this Tower 28 Lip Softy in Sugar Plum. I'm just going to take a little bit of that on my finger. You can apply it with the little thing. Honestly, I like doing it like this. And you can see, there's not a lot of tint. See, it's very subtle. It's a very subtle tint, but these are so good. I was so happy to see a set with a new shade, because I love all of them. And I noticed that they have another set with skincare that I probably will eventually pick up because I'm... A little bit extreme for Tower 28, which, I mean, no secret there. I've mentioned it many times, my bias towards their brand. But there we have this look. I think that foundation looks so pretty. I, You know, I really do. But, I mean, everybody likes different things. I think it looks pretty. Now, yes, I'm going to see how it wears today. Because I did wear more today than I did the last time I wore it. So... We're going to see how it applies. We're going to see how it wears. I'm going to be wearing it all week long so I can really get some thoughts on it. So before this video goes up, or well, right after this video goes up, I can leave a pinned comment for you to see just how I've been loving it. Now, the blush is beautiful. No issue with the blush whatsoever. That's stunning. And of course, I already love the Tower 28. Now, the Danessa Myricks, the Blurring Balm, I, of course, want to keep testing that out and see how it wears because I want to wear it as primer, too, because I believe you can wear it like that. I will say that right now, that eyeshadow is looking really pretty over it, but now, by the end of the day, is where I will really know about that. But I do hope that you enjoyed today's video, and if you did, I hope you will please consider leaving a like, a comment, or subscribing if you haven't already, and make sure you hit the bell icon so you are alerted to all my future uploads. Follow me on Instagram at Jessica Dearly, and all of these products will be listed and linked for you below. They are affiliate links, so if you click through and purchase, I do earn a small commission at no extra charge to you. The price stays the exact same for you, and if you choose to do so, thank you so much for supporting me and my channel, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!